You know, I used to say that if we didn't have title insurance, I could refinance the world. But title insurance is there to protect your buyer and to protect the lender. It's not really there to protect the seller. We'll go for through this. So title insurance, most concerned with the documents which appear in the chain of title. So like I said earlier, when you look at the title, when you're going to take a listing, you're gonna look at the title and you can get that from your title company. You can order a, pre, um, a property prelim, okay? Um, the other thing you can go on is most of your title companies will have a system that they'll give you access to go into it for free. So I know that Fidelity Title uses one called Black Knight and it's Black Knight spelled K-N-I-G-H-T, okay? You go in that and it's gonna show you the chain of title. It's gonna show you who was the owner at the very beginning of the home, who sold it to who, who sold it to who, and everything has to be clear and cut. If there's some time where you have this person is the owner and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, this person's the owner and they don't match up, then you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna have um, a drop in your chain of title and then you're gonna have a problem. So let's go through that and show you what the chain of title does. Abstract of title is a written summary of the documents in the chain of title. So the title officer looks at the chain of title and writes up a summary of what it says, and then makes a decision whether they're going to insure the property or not. So on the seller side, the seller is paying for anything that's currently gonna hit the property on the title report. The buyer is paying for anything in the buyer's history that when they buy the home, will hurt the lender. So the buyer's policy is protecting the lender and the seller's policy is actually protecting the buyer. How about that? I'll pay for you if you pay for them, huh? right? <laughs> Preliminary title report shows the seller is the trust or. So this is one of the questions that I had a problem with and I had a problem with it because it doesn't say in the question, in the, in the, in the question it talks about, you know, who's who and in the answer it does not say seller is trust or. It says the name of the person shows as the trust or. So I'll point it out when we go through the questions and answers. Standard policy of title, CLTA. This is the one that most people use. It protects against forgery and improper delivery. There is no survey. So the title company is not gonna come out and measure out your property and go, okay, the property lines are perfect. They're not gonna do that. The standard policy, CLTA, stands for California Land Title Association. And because it's California, remember that that's the standard policy, it's smaller. Because the next one I'm gonna talk about is the ALTA, and A stands for American Land Title Association, and America is bigger than California, so it covers more. That's how I remember it, so that's how you can remember it. Okay, protects against forgery or improper delivery. I actually have a good story about a title problem. I had a friend that flipped a lot of homes over in Carson and Long Beach and that whole area, and him and his wife were flipping homes and they bought a home in Long Beach and um, he bought it pretty much the guy who sold it to him said, you know, there's, we haven't been in the home for a long time. You know, I inherited it. He gave him some big story. And so he bought the property from this guy. Well, in reality, what the guy did was the guy, there are people that do really bad things. And you know, with knowledge, you can do good things. And sometimes with knowledge, people do bad things. And what this guy did was somehow he was watching people who passed away. And what you have to realize is, you know, when you owe no money on your home, that's when the vultures come in. And so the, the house was free and clear, the person died, so the vulture came in, wanted to use his title company, that's why the buyer has choice of title company. And that's one of your RESPA laws, I believe it's number nine. RESPA number nine says, buyer picks title. I don't know why a lot of listing agents put seller gets choice of services, because they do not. So he let the guy pick the title because he really wanted the home. The guy picked the title, they were in cahoots somehow. And he bought the home, fixed it completely up, sold it to new owners and moved on because he flips a lot of houses a year. Well, I think it was last year, he got a notice. He was being served. Him and his wife were served and the new owners were served. The house was completely redone and it had been a couple of years. Well, the kids, the grandchildren back East were thinking, well, grandma had a property in Long Beach how come we didn't get our inheritance? We know she didn't owe anything on it. Well, thank God they had a decent title company, even though somehow it was in cahoots because the title company ended off paying off the heirs and 
you know, my flipper was okay and the people living in it, but that was quite a scare and they all had to hire attorneys. So this is why we have title insurance to protect you from forgery or improper delivery. And that was just a CLTA title. Yes, go ahead. Do we need to know RESPA 9 through 10? You will have to know RESPA 9 through 10. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in this book. If it's not, I'll give you a brief a brief on it. Um, so RESPA, how I remember RESPA, since you're asking it, it's on the top of my head, is RESPA is four, which is an even number, and it's six, eight, 10, and nine snuck in there, okay? So you have to know RESPA eight, because RESPA eight is no kickbacks on federally regulated loans, and RESPA nine, is the um, title insurance is supposed to be chosen by the buyer. Um, RESPA 6 is servicing, so it's the mortgage servicers. And RESPA 10 is the escrow accounts. And I have that on tape and I'll put it on YouTube for you, okay? So the escrow account, it's how much money can the lender collect for the escrow account, all right? Extended policy, that's the bigger one, that's the ALTA. And it covers improvements on adjoining land. After you write covers improvements on adjoining land, I want you to circle adjoining, then I want you to baby circle the A in adjoining and the A in ALTA, so that you remember covers improvements on adjoining lands is the ALTA.